All right. Hey, this is Jeremy, and this is today's 5 for 5 devotion. You know what the best kind of secret is? The best kind of secret is the one that's only between you and God. It's where you do good deeds for others, you give to others, but only God knows about it. Now this month during December, we're challenging everyone to participate in our Christmas community challenge. We have a list of challenges in the lobby and online, and we would love for you to participate in them because December, Christmas time, is a great time of year to share the love of Jesus, and people are really open to hearing about Jesus. Now, while we want you to participate in those challenges, and we want you to let us know that you participated in those challenges, I wanna give you another challenge. I wanna challenge you to do some acts of kindness this month that no one knows about except for the people you're helping and the Lord. Well, why is that? Well, let me read to you the words from Jesus in Matthew chapter six, verses one through four. Listen to this. Jesus says, be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So if you do something good and you give to somebody or you bless someone and other people see it and they pat you on the back and say, good job, you don't have a reward waiting for you. Keep listening. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it <laughs> with trumpets as the hypocrites in the synagogues and on the streets do to be honored by men. I tell you the truth. They have received their reward in full. So again, you've received your reward. If other people see you doing something good and give you a pat on the back, way to go. You already got your reward. Verse three. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. When you do something for the Lord that no one else sees but the Lord, guess what? You will receive a reward from the Lord in heaven. I have no idea what that looks like or what it is, but I know it's good because it's from God. I want to challenge you, go that extra mile this month throughout the year and show the love of Jesus to others. Maybe it's something as simple as walking somebody's trash can back up from the curb for them and you don't tell anybody about it or you silently and quietly give money to somebody and you don't tell anybody else about it. You just do it because you want to do it for the Lord because you love the Lord. A lot of times, sometimes, I know even myself, we do good deeds for others and we want others to know about it and that makes us feel good. But you know what? It's better when we do something for the Lord and only the Lord gets credit. When that person who gets something that they need, when they look around and they don't know who to thank, you know who they're going to thank? They're going to thank the Lord. They're not going to thank you. They're going to thank the Lord. Everything comes from him anyway. So when we bless others, we're really just taking what he's given us and giving it to others. Hey, look, I can't wait to hear about all the things that get done through a Christmas community challenge. And I'm praying that there's so much more that's done in secret for the Lord. I hope you have a great day. See ya.